Well, first of all, let me say happy fall solstice. We just entered into fall, right? So anyway, happy fall solstice. So anyway, who are we going to be reading on today? We're going to be reading on the Virgo. So let's see here. Here we see already facing us someone not wanting to deal with something. Someone not wanting to accept something or not wanting to deal with something or someone not wanting to cope with something. Let's find out what that is. Okay, we have here, we have justice. So this could be dealing with a court case. This could be dealing with a relationship. It could be dealing with something going on in your job, business, papers. It has something to deal with that something that you're uneasy about, something that you're uncomfortable with, and something that you're waiting for a verdict, or you're waiting. Maybe you want to know, maybe it's a job that you was thinking and you're waiting. You had an interview. It could be a lot of things. Like I said, it could be a court case. It could be a lot of things. Maybe you're waiting for the test results to find out, um, is it a girl or a boy? Can I have a baby? I don't know, but it's definitely something there to let me know that you're you you're not ready to take the you're not ready to know but you're ready to know so this is something that you're feeling trepidation over even before i pulled the next card i could tell that you have trepidation you you're nervous about it so whatever this is this is about something that's very very serious you don't really know which way it could go it could go in your favor or it could not go in your favor and so you're you you've been afraid to deal with it but it's time for you to fess up yes right now it's time for you to deal with that we see this horse is standing still this horse is looking in its direction and it's looking to the future and it's saying i'm ready to find out what it is i'm ready to deal with it no matter what it's like it's finally ready to deal with the answer and what would that answer be here we see a three of wands. So we see that it could be something to do with moving on. It could be with something that you're going to have to let go of something. Maybe you'll have to go away for a little while. Or maybe things are not going to turn out in exactly the way that you want. Or maybe it's going to be a little testing time for you where you can hold on just a little bit longer. You know, maybe, maybe things didn't come out exactly, or maybe you have to retest or redo, but I definitely see you're looking out, you're eager, you're wanting something good. You're ready to make that move, but I see you're stuck. Let's see what this is. Yes. Conformity. I just see right now, even though it, for you, it doesn't look bleak from where I'm sitting, but for the person that's asking, the answer to whatever it is you're looking for, it doesn't seem etched in stone. You don't feel comfortable with it. You know what I mean? It's like something like you don't feel satisfied with. It's like you feel like I can't conform to this. It just doesn't feel, it feels out of your nature. And if that's the way you're feeling about it, then I have to say, you have to trust your feeling. So if it's about going to jail or anything like that, and your insides are telling you that it's not in your favor, trust that. If your insides are telling you, I didn't get the job, I, I don't know, I didn't, then you got to trust that. Because this is a card that's sitting out there with all the thoughts in its hands that's ready to go either or. It's ready to take that move. And I guess at the end of the day, it's up to each individual how you see things, how you perceive things. And I perceive things as there's always hope. Don't be so quick to be negative. And sometimes people make mistakes. And if they say, we're just going to have to do a redo, a retest, a retrial, a retake, let it be. Because it could be in your favor. But whatever it is, I know that you're ready to make that move. Whatever it is. But I think stay positive. That's my read.